Hi, and welcome to the Pool Guy Podcast Show. In today's episode, I'll be joined by Jeff Post, and he's the creator of Pay the Pool Man, which is a pool routing app. We're going to go over some of the ways that Pay the Pool Man is helping pool service companies through these last couple of tough years through COVID and through the hyperinflation and, of course, the labor shortage. So stay tuned for an in-depth podcast on Pay the Pool Man and all the features and benefits of it. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open seven days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's referral program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Also receive priority service, enhanced rebate programs, a discount on your general liability insurance through SPA, a discount on your pool riding software through Skimmer, and an opportunity to co-brand with Leslie's on your social media, website, truck, and more. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro. So I'm joined by Jeff Post. He's the creator and owner and operator of Pay the Pool Man, which is a pool routing software. How are you doing today, Jeff? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Happy 2022. Yeah, it's uh, been a rough two years and hopefully this year will be better. Um, can't count on that though. So your background in the industry, you want to let the listeners know that you're not just some outsider coming in here making a software. Many, many moons ago, (laughs) I was a pool contractor myself in Southern California uh, in a place they call the Inland Empire, which I believe you're from as well, you know, kind of uh, dealing with uh, the day-to-day operations of running a pool company, scheduling, repairs, billing, uh, customers that owe you money. We kind of, that's kind of the genesis of our entire uh, platform is uh, the pains and the struggles that we had as a uh, as a uh, owner um, at that time. Yeah, so the Play the Pool Man software has been around for how many years now has it been? Uh, I think we're going on six now. So Play the Pool Man, how has it kept up with the customer demand as you grow since you've been six years in the industry now doing this? We we definitely uh, have changed a little bit. Um, we've uh, now added, to keep up with our, our high volume of customers, we've added live support. Um, and that's been a huge, uh, a huge thing that people have really liked. We've also given folks the ability, uh, because we know from personal experience that, you know, you're, you're constantly on the move, you're on the run. And when you have a question about something, you don't always have the time to make a phone call. So we've opened up uh, the ability for, uh, our companies to, to send in text messages so they can start the support process. And when they have time to get to it they can go ahead and get to bits and pieces instead of never getting to that issue, you know, and, and then just sitting there being frustrated about it. So we, we now have the email options, which we've always had, and then we have our live support operator, and then we have the, uh, the texting ability. Yeah. And so we can't escape the COVID era. I call it the COVID era because it's been around so long now. The COVID thing has affected the world and the industry. So how has Pay the Pullman adapted itself COVID has kind of brought forth uh, a lot of challenges. Um, And one of those challenges is simply contact with customers. It was very common back in the days to do things by handshake or, you know, face to face. But in the industry, the way that it is now, because uh, there is such a a high demand for services, we've created uh, an industry first for a contactless bidding system. So that means uh, that if a customer calls in, emails you, contacts you on social media, we've given you a one-click option that will basically forward them to a a location that they can record with video, they can take pictures and tell exactly what they're looking for, and you never even have to see them. You don't have to go to the location, uh, you don't have to stop what you're doing, and it it all gets managed in one location. Because as we know, uh, when when your company, uh, you constantly have to go to multiple locations to do things, you're just, you're blowing through time like crazy and nobody has it anymore. <laughs> yeah. And I was going to say, even if after COVID settles down, that kind of bidding is still kind of good for the service company to continue doing because it's good for time management. Oh, hundred percent. You know, uh, even way before COVID back in my day, <laughs> I had a, uh, a brother-in-law that uh, worked out in the high deserts, you know, very, very successful company 
you know, 20 plus operators out in the field, the guy could never get off the telephone. It was hard for him to do anything else because he, he was just constantly having to take in information, give it back out. And so this way we're eliminating one of those steps where we're giving it to the customer and they're actually pre-filling their names, their address, their, you know, you're not having to put that in anywhere. So you're kind of pushing it off onto the customer. Yeah, and the last year we went through some serious inflation with chemical and equipment costs in the industry. In fact, some even 100% increase in chemical costs, which is unheard of in any industry, I think, to have prices double on certain products. So how has Pay the Pool Men been able to help ease the issue with pool companies? When we started to see the uh, the price increases happening in the way that they were and uh, kind of watched how folks were reacting to it, and, you know, the most common thing that, that companies would do is they would raise their rates. Well, if you have 100 customers, that could be pretty daunting. If you have 300 customers, that could be overwhelming. And then if you have 1,000, like that's a whole nother ball ballgame, right? And so we uh, we came up with an idea to be able to, we call it a, a, a mass rate raiser. And so this gives a company the ability to do a percentage or a flat rate raise across the board with just a couple clicks. It, it basically takes that process, which was super overwhelming, and then reduces it down to a minute or two. And then we also, at the same time, we're like, well, you know, that that's going to work for some folks, but some people, they want to kind of curate that list and they want people to go up five bucks, 20 bucks. So we also give folks the ability to kind of scroll through a list and then basically just tap on each customer and say, I want this guy to go up five bucks. And then they can click a button and it'll print out a a rate change letter that's pre-formatted. Once again, saving more time because that's what it's all about. You know, our big thing is we always remind folks, every minute you spend in the office, you are losing money because you get paid zero dollars to stay in your office. (laughs) Yeah, I remember at the pool show, when I met you there a few years ago, that was when they had pool shows. You had hats you're trying to get rid of because it said pay the pool man on it. And you were you were joking how that the customers didn't really like to see that, you know, the pool guy back there with the pay the pool pool man hat, which I thought was really funny. Um, so the name is clever. You're not just a billing software. We got to clarify that with the listeners here. You're a complete routing software. And we'll get into some more details about that a little bit later. And one thing that's happening now, too, besides the cost going up and everything and the craziness of finding supplies because of the shortages, Finding a repl- reliable employee is extremely difficult. I mean, I've had a, I was just talking to a friend of mine in Arizona who for two months was trying to find somebody to work for them. And when they finally found them, they just picked whoever, you know, showed up because there was no one showing up and all the extra training necessary and, and the babysitting because the guy is not, you know, the first class type of person. So how has Pay the Pool Man addressed this issue with, you know, employees and the trouble that people are having right now? Like you said, it's a it's a huge problem. I'd say most of our new requests for features all have to do with how to how to kind of track an employee in different ways to try to monitor them and make sure they're doing their job. Because, um, like you said, it's it's a big issue right now. Basically, you know, we came out with a report that you can run, and it's going to go ahead calculate how much your employees are using. By the stop, by the average, by the month, you know, in the last six months, and then compare them to other employees. So while, you know, while you may have one or two pools that are using an abnormal amount of a chemical, this is going to give you a real good picture as to the employees that are just walking back there and throwing money into the pools that don't belong there. At that, at that same token, we do actually have a way to tell if a customer is worth keeping or not. So we have what we like to call the costly customer report, and it gives you a breakdown of your 50 worst offenders. And so number one is typically going to be that one uh, one customer that every week you're showing up and you're just dumping chems in there. And uh, that's just, you know, in this day and age, you can't do that anymore. You know, really giving you a handle on how much you're spending per customer really helps you to decide good pricing. Uh, another tool that we've added that's on our plus app. So when you're out in the field and you're putting chemicals in, as you're entering those into the system, we're giving you a live calculator that's showing you penny by penny, how much you're throwing into that pool. 
if I would have had that back when I did pools, there'd be a couple of those pools I would have cut loose a long time ago. <laughs> I, I just did a podcast recently where I said 95% of your problems comes from 5% of your pools. And I think that's true in across the industry. And I think right now with the everyone trying to save money and kind of get through these next two years with all the increases, anything that you can do to track employee wasting product is is highly coveted right now out there. So one of the most time consuming parts of handling billing is dealing with the paper invoices and shipping them out to customers. Does your platform help alleviate this constant problem? Yeah. So as much as technology is fantastic, let's face it, a lot of customers still do not want to receive that by email or by text message or by, uh, you know, app notification. Pay the pool man. You know, we remember from our days uh, stuffing hundreds of envelopes. You know, it's a very time consuming process. And uh, we're happy to kind of announce that uh, about a month ago, we just uh, released our mailing service. Uh, With this mailing service release, you no longer have to worry about, you know, stocking up on your printing supplies, having enough stamps or trying to squeeze in, you know, the, the time it takes to, to stuff those envelopes. So now when you go to run your billing, you go to your billing page, you click run billing, you add your extras, which you could do with one click of a button, and then you can click send to, to the mail service and you're done. Um, so we've literally taken it from hours to minutes and then now from minutes to seconds to do your billing. And uh, we've gotten a, a very positive response. A lot of folks out there, you know, it's just that silent pain in the industry that uh, you don't hear that much, but uh, you know from doing it, it's it's horrible. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's nothing like trying to print out your invoices and you, you're 10 pages short. You don't have enough paper <laughs> or, you know, it's just always a nightmare. <laughs> it's just the time of doing that too. I mean, it's really consuming. Sometimes you're billing for two days trying to get everything done. And it's, it's really mm-hmm. time consuming for a lot of people because you're, you're out there doing pool service, you're out there doing bids putting out fires and then you got to come back and do invoicing and maybe stop halfway and go back out. I mean, it, it can be very time consuming and things can get lost in the shuffle very easily if you're not well, doing and, it. And if we're being honest, there's folks that get to the point where they start avoiding doing their billing when they should. Yeah. Um, because they, they're starting to dread it. They start stressing about it in advance. <laughs> and, uh, you know, th- those problems, most of those we alleviated a long time ago. But the printing was kind of that last puzzle piece with the billing that uh, now it's just a completely smooth, paperless experience. That's that's great to hear that that's, that's available because that's a, a big pain for a huge amount of, of people out there. There's been some apps emerging on the market and there's been some changes in the landscape of the software industry for the routing, for the pool routing software. And what makes Pay the Pool Man different from those other apps? You know, I I think really the fact that Pay the Pool Man really does do it all. You know, there there there's some companies that do bits and pieces, uh, different portions. Our goal really is to make it so that you don't have to pay for multiple things to run your company. You know, even adding in this this mailing service, that that's just one little piece. But, you know, Pay the Pool Man takes it from billing, online payments, handling your employees out in the field, all the way back around to managing your income and your expenses, where uh, just this last year, we added in the ability for folks to import from their bank accounts and automatically categorize expenses because it's a huge it's a huge thing, right? And that's what would keep a lot of people stuck on the QuickBooks monster is that expense tracking. And so uh, we really, we're not a fan of QuickBooks. Uh, I've, I've, I've made that known because I used to have to use it back in the day. You know, as we help people kind of migrate away from that, those archaic monsters, you know, onto something new and fresh and quick, th- this is really helping a lot of folks out. And we believe that we're unique in that uh, ability. That's one thing also that you've been doing this for six years. You have a long track record and you have that background as a pool professional yourself. And so all that comes into play when people are looking for an app and and kind of searching for the best one. They have to kind of compare the good and the bad and pros and cons of everything. And for me, Pay the Pool Man has a lot of pros over any kind of cons that I can see out there. And every company is a little bit different out there. So how can you serve like the single polar, the the person with three or four employees and those with 20 employees? Uh, you, how do you scale pay the pool man for that? 
one way that we that we kind of cater to the variety of different types of pool companies that really only came over all those years of being in the industry, right? When I started the company and we built it, we built it for how a typical Southern California pool company would bill and and route. And then guess what? The, uh, the Midwest does it completely different. And then the East Coast, that's a whole nother thing, right? So um, we we have six years of improving, adding, and we believe kind of the most complete package, you know, and that that ranges all the way from if you're a single puller, you can sign up with pay the pool man, import your customers and be up and running on the same day, ready to run your billing. If you're a large corporation, you can sign up in one day. You can add all your employees, set their permissions because we have a, a very deep, deep permission settings that you can control which parts of each uh, employee gets to go in. Maybe you have office staff and then you have route managers. Uh, well, all of that is part of the system and very easy and quick to kind of set up. So we believe that uh, we've really kind of uh, kind of stretched that span of, of single polar and the simplicity that they need to get in and out real quick, all the way up to you know uh, multi-million dollar companies. And you mentioned earlier about the mailing service. What about those companies that have already gone paperless and they don't really need any kind of mailing of invoices out? How do you how do you help those companies? Pay the pool man. About a year ago, we came out with a app called Pool Junction. Once again, being in the industry for a long time now, um, we saw that there was an issue with email. Right, um, everybody has email and everybody gets email, but the problem is, is we all tend to get forty plus emails a day. Right. And so uh, really, uh, you don't want your invoices to end up in white noise. You don't want your late notices to end up where people can't find them. And so uh, we came out with this app, Pool Junction, that basically gives users a, a customer facing app that they can give out to all their customers. And it, it takes away the, the email and gives direct communication. So let's say you create a new invoice. Right. Or you run your billing that customer is going to get a push notification right away. They click on it. It opens up their pool junction app and they can make their payment or approve their bid right away. Maybe you're servicing the pool. It lets them know that you've started servicing the pool. When you're done, they can go ahead and look up service logs. And all that data is always at your customer's fingertips, uh, basically in the hopes that they won't ever have to contact you. Because <laughs> let's face it, if a customer's confused, I always uh, I used to to say it's kind of like uh, lighting a fuse, right? If you're if you're out in the industry and you're working, and a customer's like, "Hey, your guy didn't come," and you're like, "Yeah, he he came. Of course he came. I was there, right?" You lit that fuse, and that customer lost a little bit of trust, and then it starts burning, and eventually it's going to blow, and you're going to lose that customer. Well, by having pool junction, that customer at any point can view all of that information in a nice, easy package and you have direct communication. So uh, a neat little feature that we have with that pool junction, let's say you had an employee call out sick for the day, but you know he's gonna be back tomorrow. Maybe his car didn't work or something like that. You can easily go in and pay the pool man and you can send out what we call a mass push notification. And you can say, give me all of Jimmy's Tuesday's pools and I'm gonna send this message just to them. And it'll actually push a notification directly to all those customers right away. No wondering if they read that email. No, you know, no, no, no issue as far as I don't understand. I didn't see nothing. Um, so we've tried to eliminate that and it's worked out pretty well. Yeah, that's a great feature because emails, I mean, I get emails, junk email and all this stuff in there. And for a customer to get some kind of notification from your company, it may take them a couple of days to actually see that email. And another um, common issue that the companies face is that we mentioned, you know, the busy pool guy that your your brother that had that route, he couldn't even, you know, get off the phone. You know, we're constantly in the in the season is when we're really busy out there, you know, summertime. And that's when you normally get all your new accounts anyway. So everyone's coming in for that short period of time. You know, a common issue is receiving phone calls for a quick quote over the phone or email. And how do you help companies keep all that straight, you know, when you're at the busiest time of the season? We came out with a feature that we call interchange. Um, interchange is kind of that the, the thought behind the name is that's kind of the area where you and the customer come together, right? And so whether it's a brand new phone call um, out of the blue or it's the same person calling you back the third time asking for a quote again, 
Um, and of course you're, you're stuck trying to remember what did I quote that guy over the phone, <laughs> right? Or that girl. And, and we've given you a quick location for you to jot down information and notes and keep track of it without having to put them through the whole system. And so uh, one, you know, one awesome tool that we have that's part of that is when you ask that customer, hey, what's your address? Yeah, they can go ahead and type it in. And as they type it in, we actually zoom in to that customer's yard. So you get like a, a nice view of, of the surroundings. And, you know, maybe if you can, you can quote it right there. Or if you're too busy, like my brother was back in the day, right? He would use the feature. Uh, we have a one-click link. And he would tell a customer, I'll tell you what, I'm going to text you over a link. Go ahead and complete this. And it would automatically add all that information that the customer wanted and put it in an area in interchange for you to deal with when you are ready to deal with those kinds of things. Instead of constantly, you know, trying to repair a pump and then you have to stop and walk away. Then you got to go back, <laughs> you yeah. know. And, and so we're trying to we're trying to set up a nice workflow. Uh, that way, there's a time and a place for everything in your workday. And when you're out in the field, you should be just doing what needs to be done out there so that you can move on to the next thing. And I think that's one of the biggest fears of a lot of pool companies is why they're out there working. If they can't answer things right away or respond to emails right away, they may lose that bid or lose that lead. Yeah. And this is a great way to allow them to focus on their job without having to you know, juggle everything out there. What are some of the updates for the app? Uh, that's coming or that's coming out this year that have just a recent you mentioned a couple of them just briefly you want yeah. to touch on some more oh yeah uh totally um you know we've uh we launched a document management part of our program that we like to call file cabinet uh, long gone are the days of you know having a customer sign a contract when you have to keep it when you're emptying out a pool <laughs> just in case they sue you later on or all of this is now digitized and in pay the pool man you have a general file cabinet where you can keep uh, like blank contracts for you to reuse over and over or you can also assign those to customers and it stays with that customer that way it's not hard to find that way you know uh, if you ever have to actually use it you can find it there and in that uh in file cabinet we give you the ability to share those files directly from those locations. So that's a really neat little update that we've uh, we've done. Uh, a couple other ones that we uh, just came out with was the ability to do before and after videos for your uh, when you're logging a service stop um, or when you're logging a repair. Uh, how often uh, do folks complain that, you know, I don't think that really needed to be repaired? Well, you know what? A picture is worth a thousand words, but a video is just a video. There's no denying what's in the video, right? And so, uh, you know, we've uh, we've added those into the system, and uh, it, you know, they're now archived, so you they don't disappear. You can always pull them up. You can view them. What we see, a lot of folks are using them to uh, when they go to log a service stop and they find a problem, they're using the videos to kind of show the office what's going on. Or maybe it'll help them kind of write up a better bid when they get back to the office. Um, that way they don't forget anything. I know we got a whole bunch of other stuff <laughs> that came out this year. Yeah, then we had uh, we had our interchange request. So that was that bit uh, with the contactless uh, bidding system. And once again, that's just built into the system. Um, you can take advantage of that on day one without even entering any customers in. You know, it, it's a great way to keep everything moving along smoothly and to be the first person to bid your customers. So, you know, you can get the images, you could get the videos from the customer itself. Why even go there and, and kind of waste the time driving across town, fighting traffic, wasting gas money, or even paying employees per hour to do that. You know, we've also, at the beginning of last year, we came out with three completely new apps. So we redid our Plus app, we, did, we redid our Pay the Pool Man Plus app, and then we redid our, uh, our Pool Junction. Three brand new apps uh, at the beginning of 2021 and uh, about 80 improvements <laughs> over the last year, just a plus alone. And one of the neat features that we're, that uh, is about to come out, which once again is going to be another industry first, is uh, we're calling it Fleet Manager. So Fleet Manager is going to give you the ability not just track different vehicles in your fleet and the services required 
you know, on an interval of let's say an oil change or air filter replacements or tires or anything like that. But also it will incorporate checklists that your uh, employees can go ahead and do at the beginning and end of every day to keep track of if damage occurs to your vehicle and you don't know it, vehicle mileage, you know, all these different things are going to be incorporated here uh, probably within the next month. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you're evolving and changing and keeping up with the times because everything, like you, like we mentioned earlier, is changing. And you got to, you know, if you're just stagnant and there's a software that's not evolving, I would say kind of like Microsoft, they're always coming out with a new version and always Apple's the same way. So you have to kind of be on that cutting edge to stay yeah. current and valid out there in the industry. What about an inventory system? Because right now with all the, the problems with the cost of chemicals and equipment, how can you help a pool company keep track of everything that they have and they need? We don't have a traditional inventory system. Uh, we like to call ours a shopping list. So you have this uh, constant list of uh, what's on a truck and you have a constant uh, need for what's needed. So let's say your employee or yourself, you're out in the field and a skimmer basket's broken. Uh, we need to go ahead and throw that on the shopping list. And you can do that with just by clicking a picture and uh, it will go ahead and put it in your requested bin. Um, then when you're at the store or when the office is making a purchase to a, to a wholesale house, they can pull up the shopping list with images because let's face it, employees always struggle to, to name the right and correct parts. <laughs> so the pictures are really important for this part of it. Then you can go in and purchase it and you can, with a swipe of your hand, mark it as purchased right? And so now it's ready to load on the truck. So when that user, the next time they go to that uh, pool at the beginning of their day, they're going to check to see what's ready to be loaded on the truck. They're going to grab it from wherever you keep it, and they're going to mark it as loaded, right? And then now they're at the, comp the customer's house all over again. They install it, they swipe it to install it. And right from there, we've kind of tracked it from the time it was requested, bought, put back in the warehouse, back on the truck, and then installed into the customer's house. And on top of that, if that wasn't enough, we've made it so that you can automatically add it to the billing when you install it. So once again, making the paperwork part and the office work kind of disappear a little bit for all those little extras that you add in there. And that's really important too. I think the photo part is, it made me laugh because I have trouble remembering what things are called out there myself, yep. you know, so... <laughs> Are you like B thirty seven basket, you know, yeah. B what is it? <laughs> I get I get confused I get sometimes too, you know. How do you get the ideas to improve your product? I'm sure pool guys chime in with some, hey, I, I would like to have this feature in the app. What's the what's the main driving force on the improvements? I know you mentioned a, a bunch of them this year. The 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 base part of the program just came out of my own needs, but um over all the years we've started getting uh, a lot of requests for new features, uh, you know, because now that we're doing this, we're not in the field anymore. And uh, it's gotten to the point where uh, all of our employees, they uh, they log them when people make requests. And every Tuesday as a company, we sit down and we discuss each feature. So every, uh, every company has a voice. Uh, we don't turn people away. And uh, we look at our product as always ready to be improved, never finished, always ready to be improved. And, you know, hopefully folks have seen that um, over the last uh, couple of years with our development. Um, we've started doing a weekly newsletter that kind of lays out some of the basic stuff that we uh, we do during the week. And uh, we've gotten such a positive response because a lot of folks don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We're working uh, as hard as we ever have, uh, even through these uh, COVID times, because it's like you say, uh, we're constantly under development. Uh, we always look at what we do can always be done a little bit better. And so we want it to be the best that it could always be. And even if we got to tear it back down and make it better again, we're going to do that. And I guess the last question here before we close is, you know, a lot of the new companies are young guys, sometimes older guys too, but they, they're on the cutting edge and they're always looking for the software that's going to fit their needs. So how do you help these new companies become successful? How does your software help any company, as a matter of fact, even one that hasn't been using software before, and maybe they're in the industry for 10, 15 years, and they're not using any software. So how does Pay the Pullman come in and really change that company to make it more successful? 
Yeah. So uh, we like to look at it like we're partnering with companies, help them succeed. Because uh, when they succeed, we succeed as well. And so uh, when uh, when when companies come into the industry, we came out uh, this last year with a partner program. And so uh, it was our first time ever really coming out with like a, a major discount just for kind of these newer guys starting up, newer gals starting up. Basically, they get to use all of our features. So every button turned on, every, you know, every app uh, feature turned on and they get it all for uh, $25. And so um, we do that a long period of time um, to give them the best ability that they can have to grow because we know that our tools are going to, one, train them properly and how to be efficient in what they do, but also they can compete with that thousand you know, customer company as well, because they have these professional tools that they're putting forward to their cu customers. So we're, we really want to see people succeed and we really want to, uh, to partner with them. And so uh, we've had a lot of folks take us up on that. I just did uh, put somebody on it today, as a matter of fact. So it's a, it's a kind of new thing, but uh, so far it's being received very well. And, uh, you know, kind of like you do, the, you know, you're building the industry up. Right. And we want to train folks to, to do things a, a good way and to take pride in what they do. And so pay the pool man is kind of giving them that professional foot forward and giving them uh, that ability. Their customers would never know if they're customer number one or number thousand, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you, you hit it there with the, the new the new uh, people in the industry need all the help they can get and all the breaks they can get, especially now with everything being so crazy out there. I was consulting someone who was going to buy a chemical only route in Northern California recently. And I said, oh, did the um, the seller mention anything about the sh chemical shortage and how he managed it? He's like, oh, I didn't even know there was a chemical shortage in the industry. What's going on? And so oh, no. <laughs> new people come in and they're in the dark. And so they need every yeah. bit of help they can get. And if they can use their software and use all those tools to, to manage their, their route as they're beginning, it's a win-win, I think, for the industry. One of the little things that kind of helps folks, so uh, chemical charging, so charging for every bit of chemical that you put in the pool. You did Back when I did pools, it wasn't really common, but like it's a big thing now, of course, right? Because the chemicals cost so much money. And so uh, when they turn that feature on and pay the pool man, we give them a breakdown of what the, the average is for the industry that people are charging. That way you, you kind of know. So you're not like insanely above or you're not losing money because you're charging too little. Like I said, we're we're kind of we want to be that company that even if you you find another company that has different tools that you like better, you know, no big deal. Like we, we still want to have a positive experience with you and we give you the ability to export your data. Um, I know I know a lot of vendors lock you in. We don't want to be the, any bad guy to anybody. You know, we want to help you. If we can't help you, no big deal. Like, you know, <laughs> we're happy to help you move on. Yeah, and I think it's the great attitude because you're, you're showing that you've been in this industry, this software industry for over six years now. And I think you're, you're at a point now where um, not only are you there to make money and to make a living, of course, but you're there also to kind of give back to the industry with some of the things like your entry level pricing that you just talked about. So I appreciate everything that Pay the Pool Man is doing for the industry to make it more professional, to make it easy, accessible to people joining it, to make, you know, all the billing easier and all the routing easier and helping with some of the employee employee problems that are developing. So I think you're doing a great job out there and you're a great help for the industry, too, with your software. Thanks, man. We, we try. <laughs> we yeah. try really hard. <laughs> well, thanks for your time. And I, I think you you went over all the key features that pay the pool man for the listeners and they can check it out. Uh, go ahead and shout out your website real quick for them. Yeah, they go to paythepoolman.com and, uh, you know, we do have an actual 30 day free trial. So uh, we don't charge you up front. You can just sign right up and you can start using the program and you get support. So you get full access to everything. Uh, there's no reason to hold back. Try it all out. We pretty much uh, almost guarantee you'll love it. <laughs> and they don't get that pay the pool man hat, right? You know, unfortunately, uh, the pay the pool man hat has gone away. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that that story was uh, back in the pool show days, which, you know, uh, I'm doing pool shows this year, uh, okay. which I haven't done in a long time now, feels like. But, uh, yeah, we bought a couple thousand hats and actually only like 20 of them said pay the pool man on it. The other uh, ones actually said pool technician. 
because yeah. we really wanted to give away stuff that people could actually use out in the field. And man, people love them darn hats. I'll tell you what, but uh, they're pretty pricey. <laughs> we have different gifts this year to give out at our pool shows that we're going to. I think Pay the Pool Man is such a clever name for the pool pro on this end of it. And maybe not quite as clever for the customer that sees it, you know, out there. At no, their I get side. it. And, and really, you know, when you, when you get into Pay the Pool Man, the ecosystem, if you're using Pool Junction, they, they'll never even see Pay the Pool Man because uh, they're living in Pool Junction. And if they're getting text messages from Pay the Pool Man, it goes to our alternative uh, site, which is Pool Pay. So, yeah, they're, you know, we really try to limit their exposure. <laughs> we don't yeah. want to offend anybody. No, no. That's but not I think for the, for the pool guy, it's, pr it's a perfect way for them to know, hey, this is an app that I'm going to get my money. You know? I'm going to get paid. Oh, yeah. You, you know, and that's where we started, right? Like uh, we started just with the billing stuff, dealing with overdue customers. And we kind of had a unique way to deal with it because it's the biggest pain that most people seem to have, except for the employee stuff now. <laughs> but yeah. it used to be the biggest pain was tracking down money, doing the work, and then trying to get paid for it. You know? Still is the biggest pain. You know, I, I would say about 10% of the customers are always still perpetually late in most pool service. You know, when I talk to anyone out there, five to 10% of all their problems are these late payers that they can't balance their sheets because they're you know, 30 days late, 60 days late. So it's still a huge problem in the industry. Whatever we can help with that, yeah. the better. Well, we, we definitely, uh, we try to help folks about a year and a half. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure the time frame, but we added in credit card auto charging and the ability for the customer to add the credit card themselves. So you don't even have to deal with it. What's great about that, because we, we have some companies that, that every customer is a automatic credit card charge. We give you, the company, the ability to apply a fee on top of it to recover the cost of those credit cards. People are just loving that they're, you know, in, in these times, put a card on file. You know, if a customer is, is struggling constantly. Oh, and that that's kind of another new thing that I forgot. <laughs> we just kind of redid our, our invoicing a little bit. When you make invoices, uh, it pops up a, uh, a little graph on the invoice page and it tells you the trends of that customer and the average amount of days that they're going to be overdue. And then when you should kind of expect to be paid for that invoice. So it's kind of a new little tweak, little little bit of an algorithm running there. But, um, you know, all, all of this is just to help you when you're, you know, doing your billing or creating a one-off bill. Like, man, this guy never pays. He's like 90 days late on average. I'm, I'm marketing it up. I'm not, you know, I'm going to mark it up and it's going to be in my price. Or on the flip side, you cancel service because, you know, being a, a pool contractor myself for a long time. I had one awesome summer when I got rid of probably about 15 customers that were just always a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> Your whole world changes. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to do, but you just got to do it. <laughs> yeah. Great advice there too, at the end. Uh, so thanks for your time. And I think uh, people can look at that, the website, and they can see if they're, they wanted to sign up for the 30 day trial and, and give it a, give it a test run there. Thank you. Yeah, bud. And thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And just remember, pay the pool man is for you. So I hope you found that helpful in deciding which pool routing software that you want to choose for your service business. And there are a few different ones out there, but I think pay the pool man has a lot of great features that are really on the cutting edge and definitely check their website out and check their software out and take it for a test drive with their free trial offer there. If you're looking for other podcasts that I recorded, you can go to my website, swimmingpoollearning.com and on the banner, click on the podcast icon and then you can scroll down a list of other podcasts or scroll through the list of other podcasts I recorded. If you're interested in enhancing your business, definitely check out my coaching program at poolguycoaching.com. Thanks for listening to this podcast. Have a great Easter week and God bless. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open seven days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's wholesale account is Leslie's referral program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.